It's 838 on this Monday, our favorite time of the morning because the queen is here. So it's the start of a new week it means it's time to get cleaning. And of course, the queen of clean is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to that. So you are looking at the top five searches for cleaning different items, right? On my YouTube channel. OK, and I'm shocked at some of these things and I think you're going to be too. They were not things I've been talking about. Oh, so okay. I guess I need to shut up about some stuff and talk about <laughs> other. So the one of the top things is stuffed animals. And I know you probably don't have much use for that, but mothers do. And of course. cleaning stuffed animals is a big deal and it's also easy to do. You're gonna take an appropriate size plastic bag. Larger animals will need at least a garbage bag. Then you're gonna use about a quarter to a half cup of table salt, put it in the bag, shake the bejesus out of it, just shake, shake, <laughs> shake, 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 shake. And when you're done, take it, and brush it off really, really well and do it outside. Now, if you've got odor in them, use baking soda instead. Same thing, shake it up, but I'd leave it in about 24 hours, take it outside, shake it up, okay. brush, brush, brush. Cornstarch will also work, same thing. Now, it's a little finer, so it's a little more brushing. And if you've got a lot of stuffed animals, throw it in the dryer on air fluff or air cool or no heat dry, whatever you have. It does a great so job. So just salt cleans that thing? Yes. How does that work? The grandals are rough, and oh, so it goes okay. in there, and it gets in there and takes all okay. of that dust, because most of them have dust and yeah. yuck on them, you yeah. know. All right. And if they're washable and you got kids chewing on them, of course, you want to wash them. Yeah. Now, lampshades are a big deal for people because they don't know how to clean them. And on a lampshade like this, which is a nice fabric shade, you don't want to put water on that because it'll leave water spots. Instead, you can use a soot and dirt removal sponge. And you can find these on Amazon, hardware stores, home centers, places like that. And all you do with it is you just take it and you run it down the shade. And okay. as you're doing it, this crumbles and it takes away the dirt. Okay. Another easy thing, a lint roller. Roll yeah. it up and down over it. And this is great if you've got pet hair on your lampshade. Yeah. This is great. You know right. how it is with the dog. Oh, yeah. Now, clean chrome in the bathroom. A couple of things you can do that are quick and easy. You can use lemon juice on just a microfiber cloth. You can use rubbing alcohol. Same thing, microfiber cloth. Personally, rubbing alcohol is my pick. I love that. You can also use white vinegar. And when you're doing it, the product that both Scotty and I love is Repel. Spray that on, buff it off. It puts a protective coating on your chrome so that the water will beat up and you won't have soap scum. Okay. Now, if you are going to be cleaning in your um, oven, which is always a job, there's an easy way to do it. You're gonna make a mix in a bowl. You're gonna take about a half cup, quarter cup of hydrogen peroxide, a quarter cup or a half cup of white vinegar. Put it in the bowl, mix in enough baking soda to make a paste. Then you'll put it on and then wipe it in with a little steel wool is what I like to use. Go away, leave it for a few hours, come back, spray on a little more hydrogen peroxide, and then you'll simply go over it with a steel wool and rinse, and it cleans spectacularly. All right, 30 and, seconds okay, left. Okay, real quick then, if you have candle wax on any surface, your blow dryer is your best friend. Mm -hmm. You're gonna simply take the blow dryer, point it at the wax right at the edge, and use a straight edge to just pop it right okay. off any hard right. surface. Then wash it with some dish soap, or you can also use some dissolvent on that. That will work really well too, and you know you can find this everywhere. So for a printable copy of this, go to queenofclean.com. Queen, you're the best. Well, thank I don't you, know Scotty. where you park your cars because your garage must be filled with all these products. <laughs> it is. You should see my garage. A three-car garage and only one car fits in, basically. <laughs> I'll bet. Thank you so much. Thank you, Scotty.